Hello everyone, Function X here. Welcome back to another episode on the Utopia server. Last time we set up an AE network over to our void world and started our boilers going to collect some power. I have since uh, disconnected our AE system. Uh, it draws too much power, really, for what I need. Um, it was just easier to do a extender chest. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. Uh, if you remember, I started with about 1.5 million logs. I still have 1.5 million logs, so I'm not using them as uh, or faster than I'm creating them, which is great. Uh, so let's go down here and go outside. Uh, f today I want to build the mining lasers, and some, one of the components of that is a pink slime ball. The only way to get a pink slime ball is to get a bucket of the pink slime, which you guys have seen me create in the Slaughterhouse, and just drop it in the world. Let's put it right here. And it'll turn into a little guy and you just kill him. Really easy. I actually got plenty just from that, but I'm going to get another one. Come on. Come on, little pink slimy. Show yourself. There you are. Okay. So that was that. Was that. Not very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Since I already had the slaughterhouse going, I have tons of pink slime. I don't have to worry about it. Okay. So, we got the mining laser, which itself is pretty easy to make. Glowstone, plastic sheets, factory box, and diamonds. Just need... Well, we're going to need two of those, but I'm only making one right now. And then the laser drill precharger. I'm going to need some more of these guys. Takes uh, pink slime balls, plastic sheets, glowstone, diamonds. So I'll get four of those. No, I won't get four of those. Let's get some plastic sheets. Ah, I'm out of plastic. I thought I, I thought I checked everything. <laughs> Who was responsible for checking if we had the materials? Um, what am I making this out of? Rubber? How much rubber we got? Twenty-four thousand rubber. Let's go make more plastic so we can make the stupid precharger. There we go. Okay, plastic sheets. And that means I'm going to need more plastic sheets because I just had to use plastic sheets to make those. <laughs> okay. I think we are good to go now. Ready? There we go. Four prechargers. Let's go over to the ore processing area. This is actually going to be really fast. Um, I need to build, uh, get another ender chest for my input chest, which is yellow, yellow, yellow with a diamond. Yeah. Enter. Come on in the eye. Sync up. And then give me some yellow wool. And a diamond. Okay, that should be good. And that's just going to go into my system, ME system for now, actually. I don't want it into my ME system, do I? Because I want to process it there. Okay, well let's just get a, uh, like a diamond chest here. Diamond chest, there we go. Let's go the gold route. Yeah, of course I don't have a gold chest in there. Iron. Gold. And diamond. I have no idea how fast this material is going to come in. Um, I was off by a factor of 10 with my MJ to RF conversion, so <laughs> I don't think I have quite enough to max this thing out. That's fine. Um, let's go upstairs. I'm actually running two boilers now at full speed. There we go. So here's my two boilers. It's all running off the same Steez factory system that I showed you last time. It works really well. You can see my barrel is completely full. Um, it, one steam oven does not produce enough charcoal to run two of those guys. Um, he produces about, I think... I don't know, in one in one pass of this he produces nine charcoal and this guy uses about six charcoal in that same amount of time. So he can produce one plus an excess, but he can't produce two. So I think I'll need three steam engines for four of them, but I might just go overkill and make all four. I don't know. But they're all up to temperature, producing a ton of steam. 
And the way it's working is it's taking all of this steam and some of this steam to power all these guys. <laughs> uh, from what I've read, I can't remember all the details, but one steam engine can be powered by two high pressure blocks. And so I shortened this guy because I had, I didn't want to go through charcoal as fast to see if this would do less charcoal per second. I don't know if it does. But right now I'm running uh, 9, 18, 27 high pressure blocks, which should support 13 and a half engines. And I only have 12 on each side. Um, but for some reason, this guy's completely empty in steam, and this guy's actually almost completely full. He is completely full. So I don't know how I'm supporting all these steam engines off basically one <laughs> high pressure boiler tank. But oh well, it's working, so that's fine. I might add more engines, I might add another bank of them if I need to. Oh, this, the steel requirements on this is crazy. I left, you know, I think 10 stacks of iron going. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Uh, okay, so we've got our power. It's completely full, and I actually filled up the second one and a th <laughs> part of a third one. Let's go ahead and put this guy down. How am I going to put him down without a block? Let's put a precharger there just to act as a thing. Now, don't go off the edge, precharger. There we go. And then we're going to aim them at this guy. You can see this cool little laser effect. Um, how am I going to push these? Fly? Ooh, this is dangerous. This is very dangerous. Why can't I hover? No, oh, that was really bad. <laughs> Um, maybe I can just turn them. <laughs> there we go. How am I going to break this one and not lose it? From underneath, maybe. Don't, don't fly to that. Oh, that's, that hurts. That hurts. Ouch. Ouch. Fire. Fire bad. Come on, break. And I lost it, didn't I? All right. Technical difficulties. Be right back, guys. All right, we're back. I got my other laser pre charger. Pre -charger. There's all four here. I'm going to put the diamond chest for now. Uh, let's run the underpipes first, actually. So here's our energy conduits. And these can actually take a lot more than what I've been throwing through them. That's fine. So I need to power all these guys. And because I'm using Ender IO, I can put this right like this. There we go. And power them. Put the power out the top. Now let's put it out the back. You disabled. And you export out the back. Not the left. Alright, there we go. Power. Did it just. Is it working? It's working. Okay, it's draining very fast. Okay, so this is not going to be enough to support one laser drill. That's kind of what I expected. Um, let me get the item pipes so that we can put the diamond chest maybe like right here. Yeah. All right, I'll get to those. Okay, got some ender uh, ender pipes, whatever. And I can put those right there. And then run that out right here. I love ender IO. And switch you to an insert. You already an extract. Does it do anything? There it goes. It's working, it's working. We got a glowstone. What? <laughs> okay. So they light up, I guess, when they're full. When they've got as much power as they can get, which is actually Yeah, I'm I'm lighting them all up, which is good. That means this condo is has plenty. Um but this guy's draining super fast. So as soon as he's drained, these won't be working at maximum efficiency. But this is what maximum efficiency looks like. 300 work. I can't remember what I had it on my Galacticraft series. I think I, I reduced it in the configs down to 100. Just so I could produce oil a little faster. But the default, I believe, is 300. So that's as fast as it goes. I think it's going to be going considerably slower once this battery is drained. But if I add a bunch more steam industrial steam boilers, I should be fine. And here, look, I'm getting stuff. Nether quartz, that's good. I'm almost out of quartz. Tin, cool. 
We got some zinc. Oh, we're getting metallurgy stuff. Okay, might have to do some metallurgy in that case. Um, some of the other things I can put uh, are little uh, focuses here. If we look at those. And they be, uh, basically, based on the color that you put in, it kind of influences what you're going to get back. So if I put a white one, it's probably likely I would get some nether quartz. Red one, probably some redstone. Blue or cyan, maybe some diamonds. I'm not sure which one would help that. Or light blue. A uh, lapis, probably, if I did dark blue. I don't know. I don't really care. I just want random ores, right? Emeralds. Sweet. I can get liquid emeralds that way. So that's pretty much it for this system. Um, we're going to collect the ores, and then we're going to process them, and that's why I've got so many floors. Is in each each one of these empty floors here. Whoa. <laughs> but they're yet to be built. I'm going to put um, as many smelteries as I can fit. And then we'll just export the uh, correct ore. And we will melt it down and then put it into drums back home. Pretty awesome. Um, should we just... I don't really want to start in the smelteries because that's just going to be a lot of... I don't really want to start in the smelteries now because that's just going to be a lot of crafting. Unless I split this episode for like over two days. So, how are you doing? Are you almost dead? Yep, he's almost dead. I want to see how fast it goes when this guy's drained. It's kind of fun, though. It's like Christmas. Every time you open the box, you're like, Ooh, what did I get? Redstone, copper. I haven't even got a, a duplicate item yet. It's crazy. Cool. I'm guessing I guess or I'm guessing I could put more industrial steam engines then because this guy's got a lot more steam. I don't know. I think that's either my math is wrong or or I've read the wiki wrong, wrong since it's been updated. But if I can put more, yeah. Maybe I'll do that, guys. Let me go get more industrial steam engines. And we'll make another row on top. I'll have to put another redstone output row. That's fine. Put another row on top and see how far we get. Be right back. Okay, guys, I've added a whole other row of industrial steam engines. Uh, to the clever eye, you would have noticed that I had these six engines were not connected last time. I forgot this cable. Um, but now they all are. So to make them run, should be as simple as coming here and saying give steam. Oops to all the rest of the engines, like you. Just make sure we've got them all selected. I think there's probably a button to select all of a specific type, but oh well, it's easier to select them all. There we go. And then we also want to, on the redstone emitter, we've got some more redstone blocks to select. All right, that should be them all. And now it should be running. We can check our steam output. They are all going. Good. And steam, you are completely empty. And now you are dropping considerably. So I might not be able to run them all, but that's okay. I might shut a, f a few down. But it's, I mean, it's as simple as just all right, m modifying my Seeds Factory Manager program uh, to do that. Okay, awesome. How fast is this going now that the battery is completely dead? Oh, it's pretty slow. <laughs> that is pretty slow. I might only be able to want run one of these laser drills off four steam boilers. That's alright. That's alright. I was hoping for grandiose and going with two, but one is probably fine. How are we doing on material? Nice. Got a second tin ore. Tin was the first one to grab another one, but we got another one. Peridot, iron, coal, certus quartz, ruby. So we got the whole gambit. You can see we get nether ores, we get metallurgy, we get biomes of plenty, plenty logistics. So all, all the ores that are in the ore dictionary can come up there. And I have, I have no idea you could go to lowstone that way, but I guess you can. Cool. Well, I think that's going to be a nice short little episode for Utopia today. Um, we got that going. Next time we'll work on the smelteries. I'm about to go and craft a ton of grout and start smelting it up so we can build all the smelteries that we need. Um, let's go look back home and count how many ores we need to get. There we go. 
I get a little low FPS in here now, which is interesting. But um, I've marked these guys with a little red green yellow, uh, yellow indicator. Green means we're completely done. Yellow means we have a system for doing it; it's just not full yet. And red means we either haven't started or it's not automated. Um, and then there's some that are gray, which means just not possible, or black. Um, but anyway, so molten seared stone, yeah, we need to do that. Uh, molten aluminum, bronze, alamite, that's four there. That one's done. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen. <laughs> Tinker smelteries that we're going to build. Wow, that's going to be exciting. Awesome. So, join me next time for Utopia, where we're going to make all those smelteries and have fun making some liquid metals. Hopefully get all those crossed off. It's going to just be a, one of those where we set it up and then we just leave it running for a, a week or two and see how we're doing. If I need to put some of the color focuses on there, then I will. Um, still need to develop a system to put... Um, um, what I, what I mean, uh, villagers into this pit to get their uh, emeralds. But we can do that. It'll be pretty easy. If you like this episode, hit the like button. If you've not subscribed to me already, go ahead. It's free. And leave me a comment, and I'll reply as soon as I can. This has been Funshine X for Utopia Cubed. I will see you guys later. Bye.